we met at a tournament in Novi Sad and ever since he's been trying to teach me something about chess on and off uh, <laughs> and we've decided to have lessons where he's going to give me lessons on stuff I suck at and we're going to stream them uh, so that it's useful for you guys too. So that's the concept. Uh, if you have any questions, Milan will be looking at the chat. I will not <clears throat> because I'll be focusing on the board. So he's going to be answering your questions. Milan, do you have something you want to say before we start? Well, the first session will be about defending against opponent's attack. Okay. And uh, we'll cover three positions today. Okay. Uh, by the way, we had some technical issues with pieces sinking on the board and showing on the stream in real time. So Milan, can you make a few random moves so that people can oh, yeah. say if, if they can see the pieces moving? Okay, I can see them. Can you guys see them on the stream? Uh, again, I'm not looking at the chat, so M Milan, you'll have to... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all good. Okay. Okay, yeah, then, then I guess we can start. So the, the first lesson is on something I'm extremely bad at. If you've seen my last few tournament games, uh, I lost them in, in very similar fashion or in similar positions. I was better or I don't know if black is better here, but I was better and got under an attack and, and then lost. Okay, Milan, do you want to give me an intro? What am I supposed to do? Uh, yeah, here you should find the move for black the best move for black to somehow hinder white's attack because the h file is opened and if white gets enough time then it's gonna be ugly for black okay i'm trying to figure out what white wants to do so if white doubles up rooks there's gonna be a mate on well actually actually is there a mate so if... almost if the rooks were doubled on the h file and black played rook h8 king g7 uh, rook h7 knight h7 rook h7 king g8 there is no mate if the rooks are doubled yeah maybe you even have queen take g5 to eliminate everything you know when the knight takes on h7 queen takes g5 to take a rook in the end. I mean, let's say hypothetically, like uh, I play some stupid move. You double. Yeah. And then uh, I don't I understand do... queen g5. Well, to let's say take a rook. Aha, uh -huh, yes. okay, okay. I, I imagine the knight being on h7 and they couldn't understand what the queen uh -huh. takes. Okay, 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 you can go back. Okay, so that's the first thing I was worried about. But then if white manages to play queen g2 and queen h3, then that is a mate strat because it's going to be mate on h8. And if I go king g7 against that, then my rooks defend. Uh, what can white do then? trying to figure out how I get mated first. I'm trying to figure out what I should be afraid of. Yeah, it seems like if you go king g7, rook h8, it's, everything is solved. It seems okay, yeah. Uh, also, I mean, it's probably not good, but yeah, okay, knight h5 is not good because of rook h5, g h5, queen h7, but... Okay, so knight h5 is never an option. <clears throat> Uh, but I could consider knight g4, knight h2 if I could defend my my g pawn, but I don't see a way to defend my g pawn. Okay, the, I didn't even count the material. Uh, so I'm two pawns up? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay, but I'm probably going to lose the g3 pawn. Okay. I'm going to try to concentrate. <clears throat> I 
What ideas do you see besides doubling on the H file? For white? Yeah. Maybe knight d5 and knight d5, uh, bishop d5 and then queen g6 is hanging. <clears throat> Yeah, that's one idea. Uh, if I could get rid of the f6 knight, I could even play queen g6. But so yeah, I could go knight e4 actually. Okay. Yeah, knight e4 is very good to. Yeah, knight e4. Eliminate this. I mean, knight on f6. Knight e4 seems scary. So, but but I solved that issue with king g7. However, if if the rooks were doubled and I got checked on h8, then queen g6, uh, on, on h7, then queen g6 would still work. But I think I have time to cover all of that. Let, let's try a variation. So you don't have to move the pieces. So for example, king g7, knight c4, okay. rook h8. If rook h8, rook h8, I think I'm okay. If knight f6, queen f6. Uh, that seems okay as well. Yeah, no, no problem. Uh, if king g7, king g7, rook h7, knight h7, bishop d5 doesn't do anything, I think. Yeah, it's just a rook. Yeah. No, if. If knight if if king g seven knight f seven I have rook f seven. I don't see anything and very if very concrete. Rook dg one on that. I'm sorry, I keep getting messages. I'm going to throw my phone away. <laughs> what, what did you say? So king g seven. Okay. Rook dg. Uh, sorry, knight f7 takes with the rook and then rook dg1. So king g7, knight f7, rook f7, rook dg1. Yeah. Uh, queen e3. Yeah, that's good. Defense g3 and also wants to trade maybe with queen d3. Yeah, and if I play bishop f4, then I'm probably more than fine. Yeah, with a piece up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that doesn't work. Uh, should I be afraid of e4? Probably. King g7, e4, bishop f4, e5, uh, knight h5. We said doesn't. Oh, it. Oh no, no, it do it doesn't work. Uh, so king g7 e4 bishop f4 e5 i could play bishop g5 uh, yeah and then e f6 bishop f6 also seems okay uh so e4 is not a big deal uh, king g7 f5 seems scary king g7 f5 queen e3. yes f5 is a dangerous idea but if I play queen e3 and fg6, queen. Oh, I don't have queen d3, the rook is still on d1. Okay, but you have something else. King g7, f5, <clears throat> queen e3, fg6, queen g5. Yeah. Uh, rook g. Rook h7, knight h7. So, okay, that doesn't work. Uh, so, f5 doesn't work. e4 doesn't work. If. I have enough time to play king g7, rook h8, black doesn't double the rooks. Uh, knight e6 check, king g7, knight e6 check, uh, queen e6 check. Uh, sorry, queen takes e6. I don't think there's anything there. f5 yeah. maybe, but no. Okay, I, I mean, I don't see anything concrete. If if this was my game, I would think I'm pretty safe with King G7. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I could try for half an hour to find something better, but 
if this was my game, I would assume that king g7 was the best move. Let me just check king g7, rook, rook dg1 again. No, yeah, it's fine. I, I, I go queen e3. I would go king g7. Uh, okay, so if you get your rook h8 in time, that's just fine for you. Yeah. And before you mentioned king g7, knight c4. Yes. But the issue was that it isn't forced. I have time to go rook h8 and stabilize. Correct. So we have a problem because white has a different move, which... Yeah, knight d5. Uh, knight d5, yeah. I, I mentioned that before knight, knight e4, but I couldn't see how white takes on g6 if my uh, if my king is on g7. So king g7, knight d5, I take. Yes. Bishop takes. Oh no, takes rook h7. Yeah, that's a bit... Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> king g7, knight d5, knight d5, rook h7, king g8. Ah! Okay. Okay. So I need to do something about the d5 square, but I don't see what. Uh, or I have to move my queen, but I don't have any square other than e3. And if I play... Uh, queen e3 then still knight d5 so that made no sense so I cannot distract the bishop with g2 because bishop takes and the bishop is still defending d5 or even queen takes <laughs> even worse or even queen takes <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Wait, maybe I could go queen e3, knight d5, queen f2, and then if rook d2. That uh, knight hangs on f6? Yeah, we check. Yeah, stupid. So maybe. If Ah, if you take on d5, then g6 hands in the end. So maybe I can go bishop c8. Okay. If bishop c8, knight d5, knight d5, uh, rook h7, king g8. <laughs> Wait. Bishop c8, knight d5, knight d5. Let's say bishop takes. Okay, bishop takes on d5? Yeah. Okay, uh, then white has three guys on e4, and I have three defenders, so e4 could be played. So bishop c8, knight d5, knight d5, bishop d5. Uh, should I keep arrows like this, or is it more confusing? No, no, don't do the arrows. I mean, for the viewers. No, if you ask me, please don't do the arrows. But if, uh -huh. if they insist, you can do that. <laughs> I, 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 I can't think now. Oh, <laughs> let's stop for a moment. <laughs> Wait, but I'm also... Okay, let's turn it off. Uh... No, I don't. I don't like that. So bishop c8, knight d5, knight d5, bishop d5. I can never go bishop e6 because queen g6 hangs in the end. Uh, yeah. I can never go bishop f5 because of e4. If I go bishop g4 attacking the rook. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Go back, go back. Bishop f5. E4. Yeah. You're saying I can play e4? Just think about it. Okay, so that blocks the queen. 
but I still I mean I cannot take I could go bishop f4 yeah and then g5 hangs like in the previous lines yeah and then g5 hangs okay so bishop and also C8. the bishop on d5 will hang that's also important well why would it hang because there's no knight yeah and the bishop is co is freeing the d file yeah, yeah yeah okay okay so the rook attacks the bishop okay so i like bishop yeah. c8 better than better than king g7 <laughs> okay so bishop c8 knight d5 knight d5 bishop d5 bishop f5 uh if e4 doesn't work then then white has to play either knight e4 or bishop e4 and i just win a piece okay uh, what do you play on knight e4 knight e4 yeah Rook d5, I don't see a problem with it. Oh, right, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay, bishop e4, what do you do then? I think I play bishop takes and after knight takes I go rook e8 and then if knight d6 I can just go cd6 uh, what if I take a pawn on, G uh, on g3 I think queen e3 is okay Attacks the knight, threatens uh, queen e4 if the knight moves. If and queen h2 by white. What do I want to play now with white? <clears throat> Either h7 or h8 mate. Or sorry, you want to go h8 mate because uh, on queen h7. h7. No, on h7 I can go king f8. My rook is on e8. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> but you still have rookie, rookie one in the end winning my queen because my queen is on e3. So I probably don't take on e3. So wait, let me go back. Bishop c8, knight d5, knight d5, bishop d5. Uh, bishop f5, you said bishop e4. Bishop e4, knight e4, rook uh, f e8, knight g3. And I took queen e3, you played queen h2. I don't like that. So I'm not going to go rook f8. Uh, so maybe it's even better to go knight f5 immediately but i think it's so wait if if instead of uh if instead of uh rook fe8 i play king g7 in that position 
So your knight is on e4, there is no c3 knight, there is no a6 bishop, there is no c6 bishop. So you have a knight on e4, I have a bishop on d6, my queen is still on e7, your queen is still on c2. I played king g7 and I'm threatening to go rook h8 and b2 pawns up. And if you go knight g3, I go rook h8 and I, I'm a pawn up. I mean, you could take queen takes c4 as well. But then I take the knight, so you'd have no, to take... But, uh, can I take on g3 then? You can play knight g3, yeah. And then I go rook h8. And knight f5 maybe? Does it work, yeah. Probably. Oh, you escaped to e6, so it's all right. Yeah, I didn't take the e3 pawn yet. That That's good. Yeah, yeah. So knight f5, g f5, I'm assuming rook d, g1 or queen g2. Uh, king f6. But wait, if you play uh, queen g2, king f6, queen g5. King e6, d5. Yeah, th that doesn't seem good. <laughs> king d7, queen f5, and you have to go to e8, and that's over. Yeah. So no, let's let's not do that. Wait. Bishop c8, knight d5, knight d5, bishop d5, bishop f5, bishop e4. This doesn't seem good to me. Yeah, if you have bishop e4 and I cannot take, maybe I can take. Okay, bishop e4, knight e4. How can I defend the pawn on g3? I don't think I can. Uh, my bishop on d6 does nothing. I don't know what to do. I wouldn't be sure about bishop c8 either if I if I got to that position in my calculation. But we looked at king g7, bishop c8. Is there really another option? Because ideas like knight e5 will come on the next move. Yeah, I know. If I make some random move like rook b8, let's say. Yeah, I, I know, I know. It cannot be a random move. I'm looking at bishop f4, but it doesn't work. Uh, I'm also looking at bishop a3, but it doesn't work. I don't think I can get away with queen e3. <laughs> queen e3, knight d5, knight d5, <laughs> bishop d5. Okay. Living on the edge. King g7, defending g6, threatening bishop f4 or queen f4. It seems bad, but I'm not good enough to see anything concrete there. Wait, say that again. No, so no, yeah, H3? sorry, there's rook h7, there's rook h7 yeah. on, and, and queen g6. Okay, yeah, uh, if this was a real game, I would play bishop c8 and figure something out after bishop e4 or knight e4 on bishop f5. Uh, 
and if you hadn't encouraged me to look to look further uh, than king g7 i'm not sure i would have found bishop c8 to be honest do i need to look for some other candidates are there any other candidates no okay no just king g7 and bishop c8 are okay uh so what do you want me to do now do you want me to figure out which is better or do you want me to do what i did and tell you what i would play in a game well figure out which is which is less worse <laughs> okay <clears throat> because sometimes where you defend you have to choose the lesser evil Okay. Okay, so let's say King G seven, Knight D five. Knight takes, bishop takes, and then I can defend g6 with queen f6, but then if knight e4... Oh, but we said knight takes rook h7 first. Yeah, okay. No, they are, I would play bishop c8. I think bishop c8 is safer. King, <laughs> yeah, king g7 seems a... suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bishop c8 is a, a better move for sure. Okay, is it losing still? But no. But we still have to be very precise because you saw what happens. Is bishop f5 the correct idea? Yeah, bishop f5 is a good idea. So if you do something like this, now I'll just show the two viewers. If e4, then you take on f4, and yeah. now the bishop hangs as well, so we get enough time. Yeah. So you gotta go with bishop e4. Yeah, I couldn't figure out what to do here. Uh, at first, I wanted to play rook f8, but or or takes knight takes and rook f8. Maybe queen f6. Yes, you have to, you have to capture. Uh, if queen f6. Knight h7. Knight h7. Yeah, I cannot go bishop e4 because it's with check. Okay, uh, if queen d7. Knight h7, maybe? Uh, rook f8. Knight f6? Yeah. Uh, if queen d7, knight h7, king g7. Takes on f8. Mm, rook takes. Yeah, okay, I'm in exchange now. Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. Yeah, I take on e4, knight e4, and, and now what? I mean, it's obvious that I cannot go king g7 because of this knight f5 idea. Uh, but maybe I have time. Maybe I... Uh, wait, bishop e4, knight e4. Okay. Uh, rook e8. No, no, let me try to find something better. I, I, uh, uh -huh. yeah. I wasn't happy with rook e8. <laughs> yeah, Maybe I can get away with it. Rook e8, knight g3, queen e3, queen h2, king f8. Oh, sorry, rook, yeah, king f8. Uh, rook h e1? Uh, rook h e1? Yeah, okay. No, no, not King F8. What was that noise? 
thank you, Alan, for the prime. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I, I haven't streamed on Twitch in three years, so I, I, I get rattled by the noises. Thank you very much. And also, John, thank you for the prime. Hey, John, thank you. <clears throat> okay, Bishop E4, Knight E4. Wait, why did we discard King G7? After Knight X? Yeah. Knight G3? Rook H8? Knight F5, King G8. Or sorry, Knight, Knight F5 takes. Uh, takes, Queen G2. You know the line with King on D7. Yeah, okay. For some reason, I tried to visualize it with my rook on h8 already. Uh, okay. Well, it was, but it doesn't. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm starting to look at f5. That's not a good sign. Oh, yeah, f5 is yeah. <laughs> last resort. <laughs> I mean, but I I don't know if, if I don't go king g7, if I don't go rook e8, what do I do? I cannot defend h5 and f5. I can defend f5. I could go queen e6, but that seems... Or queen f6, but then knight h5. Wait, bishop e4, knight e4, queen e6, knight g3. Oh, actually, my queen on e6 defends g6, so if you go queen g2, I have queen g6. Wait, bishop e4, knight e4, queen e6. Knight g3, king g7. If knight h5, then gh5. Queen g2, queen g6. Does that work? Knight e4, so, sorry. Uh, bishop e4, knight e4. Queen e6, if knight back to g5. I can go queen f5. And then if e4, I can play queen f4. So bishop e4, knight e4, queen e6, knight g3, king g7. If rook dg1, threatening knight f5 because the pawn is pinned, I could go rook h8, and the knight f5 because my queen isn't attacked, I could go king g8. Doesn't seem safe, but I'm not losing any material as far as I can see. Is that a variation on it, or am I just talking crazy? Uh, can you repeat that? I was reading the chat. And... <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Very, uh, I, I Very interactive. Think... Yeah, great. Great. <laughs> okay, so I was looking at <laughs> Bishop e4, knight e4, queen e6. And if knight g3, I go king g7. Because and I'm covering... f5? Sorry? f5? Yeah, you have f5. Yeah, I guess you have to... 
either play queen f6 or or take on e3 if i take on e3 you, you take on g6 and it's over on queen f6 maybe it's not over wait bishop e4 knight e4 queen e6 knight g3 king g7 f5 uh let's say queen e3 now if you go queen h2 i can play rook h8 if you go f6 check i can go king f6 and that also seems okay bishop e4 knight e4 queen e6 knight g3 king g7 f5 queen e3 if knight h5 g h5 Oof. Uh, at least the queen is blocked <clears throat> but it's so scary it's very scary but i i don't think i'm losing material because if if i'm preventing knight f5 and on knight h5 gh5 i have queen g6 to at least block the queen okay is there a clean solution here after bishop e4 knight e4 milan hello Can you guys hear me? I don't know what's going on. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm reading the chat now because uh, Milan is is gone. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Uh, I'll try to I'll try to do something about that. I don't know what though he's gone the man left I, I don't know okay uh what do you guys think about this position <laughs> I, 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 I don't want to be moving the pieces but I, i'm gonna move the pieces so that it's easier for you to follow so this is the position i'm analyzing now and i was looking at queen e6 and if he takes on g3 i wanted to go king g2 and then milan said f5 it does seem scary but if i take on e3 the knight is hanging i don't know dude uh, so if anybody knows anything about streaming so he uh, milan was connected by something called collab cam i don't know why i lost him i can actually try to call him over the phone because i i don't know where he went it just says that he isn't here i don't know okay uh so I was gonna take on e3. And if f6, I can take. I think. It is very scary. Maybe it's maybe it's okay. If here i mean i can just take the knight maybe that's good enough i don't know he said the last thing he said before he left is that queen e6 is very scary uh, wait we also have a chat on leeches i'm gonna write here uh, uh in creation are you here is yes it too by the way so i just throw that he said yes i'm so I, i'm here uh uh 
I don't think he knows he's off the stream. I, I don't think he knows he's off the stream. Okay, he said... Fan of fear, you want to go to a creation beach? Yeah, that's... Creation beaches are great. Uh, F6 is probably a threat. <clears throat> Wait, let me try to... <clears throat> do something about this and send it over to Milan I don't know what's going on this is the first time we're using this uh, collab cam feature instead of just uh, using Skype or whatever to, to get his camera on, on screen. And for some reason it's not working. I just hand, uh, invited him by a new link. So maybe, maybe it's going to work uh, <clears throat> until he gets here. Let's try to find a better move here. So the position after knight takes e4. If this is the best black can get, f5 we shouldn't play f5 king g7 there's knight g3 what else can we do rook f8 there's knight takes g3 it all seems extremely scary i don't see a good move here if g2 queen takes and it doesn't work I don't see a good move here. If you guys see a good move, let me know. Uh, you can play f5 here. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could go f5, but after knight g3, uh, queen h2 is coming. And if you play something like, I don't know, queen g7 to cover the mating threats, then I think white can just go rook g1 and threaten knight f5. Although, maybe there's a better variation. Wait, he said he tried the new link. Let's see. Uh, okay, let's show Milan on stream. Milan, hello. Hello. Uh, guys, can you see Milan again? Noise. He's back. Good. Oh. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Okay, I invited Someone you. So just a pawn and uh, <laughs> okay, it was gone. <laughs> okay, I started moving the pieces because uh, I wanted to. So uh, I, I mentioned f five, and you said it's. I mean, it, it seems suicidal, but yeah, I guess not knight g five. Yeah, not knight g three, but knight g five. I was just going to say, and yeah. and black resigns. Okay, uh, to be honest, I don't know what the move is here. And I wouldn't know what to do. Uh, again, if I'm honest, I would go queen e6 in a game because I cannot see anything better. Does it lose? I think it's very bad. Okay. After queen e6, knight g3, and. Okay, king g7. King g7, f5. Queen e3. And I think there's f6. Okay, king f6. Check. King G7. And now... This is... I reached something like this and I couldn't see anything concrete because my constant threat is Queen D3. If you don't defend against that, then I play Queen D3. Your knight is hanging, so you have to defend the knight and the D3. Queen D2? Oh, there's Rook H8, right? Yeah, Rook H8. I couldn't see a continuation for white. I mean, it's... Wait, give me... Obviously, my king is open, but... And if I take on g6, what? Uh, I, think? I think I take the knight with the bishop. Take on f7. Uh, uh, wait. 
uh, rook h8 because I'm covering the checks on the g file and I'm covering f8 twice okay let's go back a little bit so what happens if 94 instead of f6 okay uh, okay I think that's stronger okay So knight e4, rook h8, f6, king g8, rook h8, king h8, uh, rook h1, king g8, and queen h2 is going to be mate. So, but you have to uh, take on d6 first. Because the bishop protects h2. Yeah, okay, okay. But... I, I think eventually if my king is on if, if yeah, there's a pawn on f6 I'm just going to lose that's over so I cannot go rook h8 uh, so on knight e4 I have to go bishop e7 that seems bishop e7 that seems crazy <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can go rook d. Can I go there? Or if you go rook d one, uh, I go queen d three. Yes, yes. But if you go rook h d one, your rook is not on the h file. Yeah, that's a problem. Queen h six and or yeah. queen h three. I mean. I would assume that against knight e4 I had to protect against f6, so bishop e7 would be my first candidate. Other than that, uh, I could consider queen f3, but that seems suicidal as well, and it allows f6. Maybe I could consider queen, G, queen b3, so knight e4, <clears throat> queen b3, f6, king g8. Queen h2, black resigns. No, Bishop there's still takes. no. Yeah, there's still no. Okay, okay. But you could go queen g2. Yeah, I could, I could go slowly. Here. Queen g2, queen h3. Yeah. Uh, but let's okay. move back here. So. Okay, so if, if you haven't been analyzing queen e6, we don't have to do that. You don't have to improvise now. I, I agree with you. Knight e4 is strong. So not queen e6. Uh, so if I don't go king g7, rook f8 or queen e6, what do I do? And not f5. Wait, maybe I can go rook f8, knight g3, queen e3, queen h2. No, yeah, it doesn't work. Can I transfer my queen to g7 somehow? So let's say rook f8, knight g3, queen f6. Okay, and if I go rook h3? King g7? I do have knight h5 here. Right. I take rook g1. Oh, yeah, you took on g3. Ah. Yeah, yeah, okay.
Okay, so if I could get my bishop to g7, everything would be great. Unfortunately, I don't see a way to do that. Oh, sorry. Uh... <laughs> what did you do? <clears throat> I clicked. Okay, maybe we can move on to the next position because I I really don't see I, I really don't think I would have enough time in the game to come up with something better than what I said. I would probably blunder. So So let's take teach a look me. at this one. Yeah. Rook F eight. Okay. So this was my first game. Yeah. And Queen F six. Okay. That's great. Wait, didn't I just say that? Yeah, but on rook h3 you said king g7. Okay. You could take on e3. Oh, that's true. Okay. So when I take on e3... And then you have ideas such as to... Yeah, my queen is covering give, give an exchange, for example. Because you have plenty of pawns and you can defend that way. Okay. So I found it in the end, almost. Uh... Okay. Okay, good. So that's the answer? Yes. And here I think the critical line is what happens on e4. The point being, if you take on f4, white has e5 and knight e4, knight f6. Okay. But what if I take and... with the queen? If you take with the queen? Queen h2. Yeah, I was going to play bishop e5, but it doesn't work. You can just take. Maybe you cannot just take. How many pawns do I have? It's so, okay, bishop e5. <laughs> bishop e5, I take. Rook takes. Queen e5. Maybe I can survive this. Maybe not, but... Yeah, it's not mate, but... Um, rook h1... Uh, I don't know, rook d8? Now, is the endgame winning? I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out, but... I, I wouldn't resign as black. I'm certain of that. Yeah, it's a fighting position still. I think it's black who's fighting for sure, but... Yeah, maybe there's queen h7, rook f1. But, but the knight is limited nicely, there's no entries just yet. Yeah, and if I get to play rook d3, or... I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna get to play it, but... If I win the pawn on e4 somehow, I think I don't Or lose. push c3 to at least eliminate some pawns. Maybe you can even play for a win. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so what's wrong with queen f... I mean, it's not a good position for black, but I would definitely play queen f4, not, not bishop f4. But let me see if there's something better. Well, let's say on this, I can include a check and go rook f1. That's a problem. That is a problem, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. That's and that. if you go king g7, then I can go e5, possibly. Or, sorry, no, no, just check and rook f1 next. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, okay, what do I do on e4? So, <clears> you got a capture with the bishop. Can I not go bishop f8? On bishop f8, I think f5 works. I was gonna say bishop g7, and then when you take on g6, I play rook d4. But you always but have... But I don't take, I push e5. Then. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay, so bishop f4. 
bishop f4, and now e5. And there's this threat of knight e4, knight f6, which is quite unpleasant. But now, implement your idea. My idea, and bishop e5? Position where you... Bishop e5, yeah. But the knight is still coming to e4. If, if I'm afraid of knight e4, rook df1, and knight f6. So, let's say you take? Yeah. I exchange. Yeah. Queen takes, and let's say... Uh... Yeah, okay. Okay. With the with the rook exchange, there's no time for that. But so this is the same position, almost. Only there's almost no pawn on e4. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's no pawn on e4. Okay. And you know you might uh, in the end exchange rooks that could benefit you. It. I think. Okay. Plus you can simplify with c3. And I think black is doing just fine here. Do you remember a game? I think. I don't remember who was playing black. But black was supposed to get mated on h8 or h7, but in the same pawn structure and kept covering the diagonal and then checkmated white. I don't remember the game. I think it was Botvinnik. Uh, Akira Smyslo, maybe. Maybe it is. Uh, uh, the whole game h7, sacrificed the rook, something like yeah, that. Yeah, he, he just tried <laughs> to checkmate black on h7 or h8, but then got mated. Or lost yeah, too much Yeah, his rooks material. got stuck on the h file and... Um... Yeah, th this whole position reminded me of that game <clears throat> did you say Keras Mislo? yeah okay uh, 53 I think okay I'm gonna write it down because I wanted to look at the game again okay let's go on to the next position next position is not this one let's do this one okay uh, I'm Three pawns up. Okay. Uh, e five is weak. F seven is weak. Okay, so I don't think I can ever go h6. That seems too scary. So something like h6, queen e5, long term seems very suspicious. h6, queen e5, hg5, bishop g5, and black is losing. Uh, Let's reformulate this. Uh, can you evaluate f6? Okay. It seems scary, but I don't see anything concrete immediately. If f6, I don't think white moves the knight. I don't think white has to move the knight. So white has time for something 
some improvement. Uh, I don't know what though. I'm looking at bishop b2 because I couldn't find a good use for the bishop on this diagonal, especially if, if, if the pawn comes to g5. Uh, and if black doesn't take but just keeps defending, then white should probably come up with a way to put pressure on e6 uh, and the h8 a1 diagonal. So if f6, I have no idea what white plays. Uh, I cannot see anything crushing for now. Look at something very fast, very concrete. Not something like bishop d2. I was looking at bishop, yeah. Uh, I mean, knight h7 could work, but <clears throat> knight h7, king h7, queen h6, king g8. Let's say bishop takes. Bishop takes. f6, knight h7, king h7, queen h6, king g8, bishop g6. <clears throat> so I can defend mate with rook e7, queen e7, queen d7, queen c7. My knight isn't hanging because there's a pawn on f6. Yes, with uh, with rookie seven, you're defending the seventh rank, and everything is under control. I think so. I mean, if my knight isn't hanging, if there's no f four, but I think f four is too slow. I mean, maybe it isn't too slow. F four, knight g four. Yeah, I would have to go queen h5. Yeah, okay, probably f4 is too slow. So on rookie 7 is there really nothing? It doesn't seem so. I, th I think knight h7 doesn't work. I mean, I would see it in a game if I wanted to play f6 and I I wouldn't think I'm getting mated. Because the but bishop... there's something crushing for white after king takes. Knight h7, king h7. Uh, I could go bishop g6 check. If king g6, then queen h6 is mate. But... King f7. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, king f7. But Wait. Keep going. What do you mean king f7? The pawn is on f7. No, no, on f6. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 okay, 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 okay. Bishop g6. King g6, queen h6, king f7. Uh, queen h7. King f8. Bishop a3, knight c5 doesn't work, rook e7. But you have a different check. Oh uh, yeah, I have uh, bishop h6. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. 
Yeah, and, and if king f6. Take... Sorry, what? If I take with uh... with the knight. Sorry, no, no, no. If I go king g7 on your bishop g6. Mm -hmm. Knight h7, king h7, uh, king bishop g8, g6, sorry. bishop g6, king g8. Uh... I think I can go bishop h7. And if I take? And then queen h6. King g8. Yeah, that doesn't work. Wait. So knight h7, king h7, bishop g6, king g8. If I go queen h6, we just transpose to the same position if you play. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. It seems okay, just rook e7 on queen h6. Yeah, yeah that, that position is great for black. Okay. He's a piece up and he defends well. Okay, so what's the crushing move? Rook takes e5. Wait, at which point? Instead you of queen, queen h6? h6? And, yeah. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Wait, knight h7, king h7, bishop g6, king g8, rook e5. Ah, the point being queen f7. I didn't see that. Yeah, queen f7, queen h7. Yeah, okay, okay, I didn't see that. But wait, on, on rook e5, if I just go, uh, let's say... I don't know what. Let's say rook f8. Just not taking your your rook. But I can take your rook. On e8. On e8. I I played rook yeah. f8. What when? So knight h7, king h7, bishop g6. Aha, you played on rook e5, rook f8. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, then I can go rook h5 probably and... Yeah, okay. It doesn't look so great. I mean, the material is almost equal, but the king is... Yeah. Okay, I didn't see rook e5. That's really nice. At least I understood it. Okay. So in the beginning you told that uh, if you play f6, why doesn't have to react at all? Yeah, I think, that's, I think why that's doesn't... a good thing to to know, to remember. But on knight h7, you reacted with king takes. Like, you do have to take it. Yeah, I, I, I was just calculating uh, because you said there's something yeah. crushing. But if I go king g7, my knight still hangs with check. If I go uh, queen d6... Ah, if I go queen d6, then my knight doesn't... Ah, yeah, it does. Stupid. There's knight f6. 
so king g7 if knight g5 i still cannot take on g5 if rook f8 he just takes if i can go knight d7 can i go knight d7 no because of bishop g6 uh can i go g5 no knight f6 what do i have try all the moves <laughs> okay i mean <laughs> so something like in g7 wouldn't work yeah queen h6 at least So, the knight is lost if after fg5 I can defend my e5 knight. That's my logic. But I have to defend f6 twice. I don't think I can do both things. Uh, I mean, I could play something like <clears throat> uh, f5, but then knight back to g5. Black doesn't take my knight. And then after knight g5, I don't have a move. If all right, but on f5, knight g5, you might have queen f6. Mm. And you still do have a bunch yeah. of pawns. But bishop b7. Knight d3, maybe. Ah, oh, there's knight d3. So you're saying f5 is good? Yeah, f5 is the only move that doesn't lose on spot. Okay. I was worried about knight g5, but okay. Yeah, I, I missed knight d3. Because what can take on e5 and there's this dark square bishop. Uh, sorry, not on e4, just take on h7. Yeah, take on h7. There are some complications with h5 or even if you move the bishop, but it's still position is alive. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't think taking on h7 loses. I would miss rook e5. Yes, here. Yeah, okay, that, that, that's exactly how I lose game. games. Thank you, you found excellent positions. So, yes, this is the, this is the point. Yeah, I would definitely and miss rook if you rook somehow five. move the rook, well... Yeah, I, I tried rook e6. Rook h5, and there's just too much pressure on, on the king. Yeah, maybe I can go bishop e8, but then queen g4. <sighs> Wait, yes, bishop e8, is... queen g4, f5. f5, bishop h7, Seven check. Seven. Or just take on f5. Yeah. Okay, no, no, yeah, rook e5 is crushing. I don't think there's a defense. Do you have time for one more? No, no, let's, uh, let's continue this one. It's okay. not over. <laughs> okay. So, for example, on h6, it might also has something like knight f7 here, and it looks pretty uncalculable. Like, but I don't think white has to react. I think it's even worse if you don't take. If you, yeah, if, I mean, if I just, but I was... if you take on e5, let's say, then. Yeah, this is dreadful. You cannot take the knight because of bishop g5. Can I go f6? Ugh. <laughs> I, don't I know, know, I know, but uh, just uh, let's say queen knight is f4. Wait. Oh, but queen hangs. Let's yeah, but the this, queen hangs on d8. Five. Yeah, but yours is attacked also. Yeah, but the material is, when I take on h6, seems okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, but black is not worse here. He has a deep one. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. I would think but black is slightly you worse. Can you... Four? you might have this or maybe e5 immediately. Can you go no, back to that games. position after rook d8 and bishop h6 and explain why you think black isn't worse? Uh -huh. Let me just find it here. It's this one. Yeah, and now bishop takes pawn. 
Bishop takes pawn. Okay, let's first save this pawn. No, no, no I would, I would take on h6, h6 to keep blockading the the e pawn. Although. Uh, wait, how? Because my I... bishop isn't developed, I would play bishop takes h6. Uh huh. Okay, so I could go king f7, for example. Okay, uh, and I mean, I, I, I'm not interested in variations. I just want to hear how you would assess and why you think black is. Well, first of all, I have this d pawn, which is not easy to stop. Okay. I can jump with knight on to c3 and maybe pick up a2 at some point, or just create a passed pawn by pushing b5 and so on. Also, one idea could be to exchange bishops by bishop c6, so my king is not so unsafe. Okay. But <clears throat> how do you do Even all of that? take some pawns here. It doesn't seem too scary, I think. Did you say something? I, I... I don't know if if maybe when I'm looking at it, I can see that the deep one is scary. But if this was a position I had to visualize a few moves in advance during a game, I would think to myself, OK, I take on B7, maybe I go Rook D1 immediately. And I would think I have two bishops covering the promotion squares, so not promotion squares, but covering D3 and D2. He has a light square bishop and a knight that can control D1. But I would think that I win, a, win the pawn if it gets to D2. Well, let's say you take on b7. I push. Maybe I, I maybe it. maybe I start with rook d1. Let's let's start with rook d1. Uh -huh. Okay. I, I want to go rook d2. Two. No 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 no. Instead of uh, instead of bishop b7, I go rook d1. Uh huh. Knight c3. Rook. Ah yeah okay. Ah idiot. Okay. So you have these two ideas: knight d, knight c3 to meet rook d1 with the fork, or knight b2 or and knight c4 to keep pushing the d pawn once it comes to d3. Yeah, now yeah, now I see it. You you said very quickly that you think the black is better, but I couldn't see it. Now I see it. Thank you. I don't think it's better, but he has some potential here. But how would you defend? What would you play instead of rook d1? Uh, maybe play f4 to try to play for the king, for the kill. Or something like g4, h5 to push my pawns as well. <clears throat> Oh, arrows. <laughs> okay. Yeah, F4. I, I would never think of F4. In a game, I would push maybe H4 and uh, G4, H5. To so why? Faster because if I do nothing, then Black is slowly going to press me here. And but isn't Black quicker than you? So let's say g4, d3. g4, d3. Could I push? I take. And assume knight c3. Check. King g6. Ah, oh, then you have f4. Maybe I have to go to g8. Bishop d2 maybe first, and then f4. Although, you know, knight 2 can be played and maybe you can get from behind. Yeah, I, I don't know. I would be scared to push those pawns. I would just assume that black is quicker. Also, as black, you can go bishop e8 if you want and try to destabilize this. That's true. I, now, I, I would think black is probably much better if not winning. I, I don't know. Yeah, so maybe I I messed up here. Maybe maybe just go f four immediately. F four d two. Ah, smart. <clears throat> f four d two. Check here. Can I take on d two? But no, it's nah. not enough. 
Yeah, probably not enough. I don't know. Okay, let's not get lost in this. I just wanted to hear your assessment. But what else? F4. Maybe this is better. Okay, and if... Yeah, maybe F4 is better. But maybe you, you can push... I don't think there's anything else, but okay, now take d2 and then maybe I do have e6 or wait, why don't you have rook d1? Nice three. Rook takes? Uh, bishop hangs in the end. Uh huh. Okay. I... Okay. It's complicated. <laughs> it's very complicated. Yeah. Okay. Maybe on d two you can also go look here first, but I don't know. King d six will just lose some material. Okay. We can go back to the to the starting position or. What did you want to? Yeah, so we covered this and f5 as very complicated for both sides. Okay. And h6 also seems very, very complex after this. So let's try to find something less complicated since we don't have to react on this night. Okay. I mean, we have to react now because the night is here. But there's f6. Okay. I'm looking, I'm looking at knight c3 because my knight is just awful. Uh, I'm also looking at knight b6 with the same idea to get the knight to, to d5. Uh, but then my knight would hang, so I don't think I have time for that. I'm looking at... d3. Bishop c6 seems playable. Bishop c6, if queen e5, then... Oh, but wait, you can take immediately. Oh, yeah, knight c6, queen f7. Oh. Yeah. Okay, maybe I can go king g7 here just to be safe. So I would also look at that. But it was with check. But f6? i6? Yep, okay. Hmm. Okay, so my candidates would be... In a game, I wouldn't consider h6. Uh, I would consider f6, but not seriously. Uh, I would probably look at knight c3 or d3 as the most serious candidate moves uh, if knight c5 i cannot do that because queen e5 and then f6 queen c5 yeah uh, if knight c3 and the bishop moves somewhere let's say 
to b1 or takes on b7 then my knight's attacked so that doesn't seem too good either uh, if d3 then bishop d3 isn't playable because i play ah yeah it actually is d3 bishop d3 bishop d3 i cannot play knight d3 ever because of queen f7 so that doesn't work how can i play like a coward <clears throat> rook f8 like a coward no but then queen e5 f6 knight e6 uh, if i go queen c7 then let's say bishop g2 queen c7 bishop g2 i could probably go rook c8 Queen e5, queen e5, rook e5, rook c1 seems okay. And if I move the bishop to d2? I mean, I'm defending everything. I can probably go knight c6. Yes, this does seem defendable now. Now the only thing you have to look after is knight h7. Let's say in some case, let's say queen c7, okay. bishop g2, rook c8, knight h7. But I don't think it works. What I can take now? Take queen h6, king, king g8, g8, bishop f4. I can play knight g4. Ah, that's clever. I'm yeah, not sure though. Good. Yeah, but if I take on g6, queen g7, you're okay here. Yeah. Yes, queen c7 is an excellent move. Yeah! And uh, I haven't checked rook c8, but there's a very tricky move <laughs> in this position. Knight c5. Okay. With Tactical. the point if you take... Yeah, I see knight d3. Everything. Yeah, knight d3. Knight d3 and... Uh... I would play rook c8 in a second. I wouldn't even think of knight c5. I don't think I would, I mean, maybe if you told me there's something better, I would find knight c5, but during a game, I wouldn't think I needed anything else. So now knight d3 is a threat. Yeah. Right. What do you do? I mean... Queen f6, maybe. But knight g4 still, right? So well, knight g4, queen d4, and queen c1. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bishop on b5. Yeah, I didn't consider the bishop at all. Like a coward. Like a coward. But wait, couldn't I also go knight d3 like a coward instead of knight g4? Knight d3? Oh, it could be, yeah. I guess now bishop f4 is the only way to continue the game. I take it. Take it, gf. I don't know, d3. I don't think I'm afraid of h5 or f5. h5. Uh, I would take it like a boss and then lose to bishop e4. No, 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 okay, I'm gonna play h5. I'm gonna play h5 instead of d3. Uh -huh. 
But wait, can we double down on the coward stuff? Bishop e8, queen d8, something like that. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> queen d8 is probably winning. Bishop e8, queen d8, h5 doesn't work. Yeah, okay. I mean, you can evacuate the queen immediately. Yeah, Bishop this is fine. It seems fine. Okay. Is queen c7 the best move? Yes. Yeah. But I'm not sure about rook c8, but I think it should be okay. Do you, do you have an engine? Uh, yeah, I can check. Oh, actually, rook c8 is the third move. Knight c3 is the second one, and knight c5 is the best. Oh, knight c3. Wait. Oh, on rook c8, knight e4, it says. That makes sense. And on knight e7, knight e6. Oof. And then d4 hangs and... Yeah, this isn't clean at all. I would Things lose this. This is... <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, this... And when queen d4 and... With the bishop on h6 or... Yeah, that's uh, really, really that's scary. not good. The engine says it's okay. That's fair enough. Yeah, I, I wouldn't think this was okay. Okay, uh, well, uh, we're not going to do any more, I, I guess, because you have a next lesson. Yeah. Okay, uh, when are we going to do the next one? When do you have time? Thursday. Thursday, okay. Uh, I have my driving exam on Thursday uh, at noon and then after that I have a lesson at 1 p.m. but I will be free from let's say 4 or 5 p.m. Do you want to do 6 p.m. again? Yeah, 6 p.m. works. Okay, uh, if you guys want to see us uh, 6 p.m. on Thursday. Uh, thank you, John. Uh, I didn't say goodbye. Okay, thank you very much, Milan. This was great. Thank you for the company and see you guys. See you in two days. See you guys. Bye. Bye.